we don't have community spread. What we have is a cluster of cases where everyone so far has been related to the first um, UK visitor. On March 17th, Barbados recorded its first COVID-19 cases. From there, the numbers only went up. Barbados has now recorded 234 cases with 217 recoveries, 7 deaths, and at present, there are 9 persons in isolation. On Sunday, October 4th, the Ministry of Health and Wellness announced that a cluster was found in a local family, and from there, the confusion started. People were highly concerned about whether there was community spread in Barbados, and they took to social media to express their concern after the press conference. But let's hear what the people actually think community spread is. I'm here at the Barbados Community College to find out what the public's definition of community spread is. My definition of community spread would be um, if somebody has it and they go out and they spread it to members of their family, they go out shopping and they go laying on the block, they come to school. When I hear the term, I think about persons who would have not traveled and they would have been doing everything they're supposed to do, but somehow they still would have contracted the virus. Now that we've heard the definitions from the public, Let's hear the former COVID-19 czar, Richard Carter, give the official definitions of the terms that we've been hearing since the pandemic has started. The terms are community spread and local transmissions. And he also gives the importance of knowing the definitions and explains why people often become confused. Community transmission is evidenced by the inability to relate confirmed cases through chains of transmission for a large number of cases. So essentially that is speaking to a situation where you have a large number of cases in a, in a community where you cannot relate them to already established confirmed cases. And it is speaking to a situation where the spread of the epidemic is getting out of control because you can't link cases that you have to already established cases. They define local transmission as locations where the source of infection is re within the reporting location. So the main difference then from community transmission is that you can identify the links to the source of infection for anybody that you, that you are now testing positive. Is the fact that many of these terms are technical terms, they're used in a very technical way um, by public health authorities, but of course, ordinary lay persons would tend to use the terms and confuse the terms. Community spread and local transmissions are two completely different things and it is important to differentiate the two. Knowing the difference stops people from spreading false and harmful information to others.